So we're here to drive some cars today, and we're gonna do a head-to-head -head challenge between the vehicles, and may the best car win. Woo! That is awesome! On the Verso, we, we, we squealed a little bit going around some of the corners. Did you feel that? That felt, that wouldn't, that wouldn't happen in the Fiesta, that's for sure. I feel like there's a lot more going on in this car internally than the Fit. Sorry, Fit, you need to step your game up. Yeah, I drove the Versa first, and I thought it was amazing, and then mm. I got in the Fiesta, and I was like, oh, the this is better. Is Fiesta feels all kind of high tech, and I kind of like that. Are you having so much fun? Dude, it is epic. <laughs> I feel the eco boost with the Fiesta. Miles per gallon is the top priority. I really didn't expect that kind of mileage off of a non-hybrid car. That is insane, and I mean that in the best way possible. The sync technology was awesome. To have my phone connected to my car the entire time and keep it in my pocket, I'm set. My hands-free phone is I put my phone in the back seat and I don't touch it. Call Bernardo. Calling Bernardo. Nice. This vehicle can do turn-by-turn -turn directions. Being a person that makes a lot of mistakes with driving, it'll benefit me substantially, is what you're saying. <laughs> Let me gaze at this beautiful car really quickly so much room, my big dog could fit back here. <laughs> With Fords, I always think of like, you know, trucks, and when you get a car that's this much fun to drive, it's like, okay, you guys, you guys yeah. got my attention. I thought Ford stepped it up big time. They killed it, this is an awesome car.